Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Teacup Tarot. My name is Raya and in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at what messages the angels have for you for the next two months. Okay, now once again, when it comes to this video, pick a pile that you're really, really closely drawn to. And of course, especially for these kind of videos, you know, if you want to like pick up more than one pile, you're more than welcome to do that because there is no such thing as right and wrong, especially for these kind of videos because angel messages are for everyone. Yeah. And if you're not able to make a choice between the feathers and the images, you can absolutely use the plates. I will give you some time when it comes to making your choice and then we start with pile one. Hello and if you've selected pile one, these are the messages the angel have for you for the upcoming time. Now, let's take a look at what messages you're supposed to be receiving pile one. Now, amazingly, amazingly so, the focus that the angels are placing are on your relationships. The relationships that you hold very, very close and who mean a great deal to you. And they're telling you, especially when it comes to your romantic relationships, your soulmate relationships, they are going to be helping you out. They are going to be helping you reduce karma relating to your relationships and how to include more love into them. And especially for my friends who are not currently in a relationship, they are now going to help you attract a relationship which is not just, you know, a relationship on earthly plane but also a relationship which has its basis in spirituality so your connection is going to be one in which you know you're not only like bound to each other with love but also through your spirituality yeah so they are going to be helping you with your relationships which is beautiful and also the angels are telling you that no matter what direction you choose in your life okay no matter what places you want to go, what experiences you want to have, you need to make sure that you're following your northern star. See, for each person, somehow, you know, the northern star is very different. So you have to follow your own. Remember, even if you have a friend who is like very close to you, even if you have a family member who is super close to you, you each have a unique destination and you have to walk those paths alone, okay? So no matter where the path is taking you, you have to make sure you choose it and you enjoy every step of the way. And remember, it is not about hitting the goal, but it is what you do every single day to get there that is important. So value every little process in your life is what the angels are here to tell you. And you know, if there's somebody out here who feels like, you know, they're not tough or they cannot do things further, like maybe they need help. Of course, help is available to you in your own life and also spiritually, but you are tougher than you think you are. And remember this, when it comes to things that we go through in life, you know, God will only give you those many challenges that he knows you're capable of facing. And if he's giving you something less, it is because he wants you to get tougher. Remember this, there is nobody else who knows us as much as God does. And if God is putting something in your life, even if it is tough, it is his tough love for you. He wants you to be strong. He wants you to be brave and courageous, just like you're supposed to be because you are his child. Yeah. So you're very, very tough. Toughen up and be brave is what God is here to tell you. And remember this. If you're struggling with what to do when it comes to your life, you know, if you are feeling like you're pulled in multiple directions, you just have to sit in one place and listen. Listen for direction. Listen to the voice within. Or maybe sometimes if somebody is offering you a compassionate advice, listen to them. Because sometimes what happens is we are like in our own phase of mind. We are like doing things our way and we don't pay attention. So right now, that is what you're being asked. Life is trying to tell you something. Maybe somebody is trying to tell you something in your life, but you're not paying attention. Yeah. So listen to what life is trying to tell you. And remember this, you know, you have been given certain dreams in your life. We all have our own dreams. And when a particular dream finds its way into your heart, and we have this incredible force to walk in the direction. It is because the divine has placed it there. No dream takes place on its own. It is only when the divine puts something in your heart. 
so if you want to walk the path of your dreams feel free to walk on it nothing can stop you because it has been divinely placed in your heart and along with that you know remember this if sometimes in your life you get tired and you feel like you know you need to rest you need a break and you only want to do things that you feel are right for you it is okay to do that you know sometimes we we expect like okay you know i just wish this person listen to me because you want an outlet to be said in that case slow down and listen to yourself tell yourself the own story of your life and once again i really 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 want to encourage you to write a journal and remember this you know your journey is so unique that the possibility that somebody else will understand it is also very rare so then in which case it is always better to tell yourself that story to hold that space for yourself than waiting for somebody else to hold it for you in your life yeah but you need that break and you need to really really think things through for yourself or just rest you know that's important too and interestingly you know you are at a point where you are being told you have to liberate yourself from something you know so what do you have to liberate yourself from are you thinking yourself less than worthy are you feeling like you know you dis- don't deserve something yeah because you have mark kali showing up and when mark kali is showing up she is always here to destroy things in your life that don't belong so liberate yourself from the burdens that you've placed on yourself is also a message that is coming forth but remember this you're entering a time of change and blessed change for that matter but remember something you know in your life pal one to survive successfully to thrive successfully you need a routine so right now in your life you know if you're just doing things according to your own energy it is great up to a particular point but then a routine is important getting up at a particular point is important eating right is important and also doing your work on time is important so if you guys are procrastinating something leaving things to another day do not do that do something every single day and don't wait for last minute is a message for you yeah so you have a disciplined life very very important for you i also get a strong presence of saturn in your life and saturn once again likes discipline he likes structure yeah so make sure you having a structured regulated life very very important and sometimes what happens you know because you are so used to going with the flow and you know you're very used to working with your energy so when something happens that makes you behave otherwise you struggle then things are really chaotic for you so in order to avoid that avoid that chaos and emotional up and down a disciplined life is what is important for you and remember this you know this is the divine physician showing up so this talks about healing physical healing most of all so when it comes to physical healing are you eating right what is the state of your mind and are you having a life that is structured our structured life and our emotions have a lot in common where there is chaos they can never never be like this balance this harmony okay so the key point for everything for you is balance yeah it is having a routine is having a structure around yourself and your life yeah but remember this healing is coming in your life so you have to assist that process of healing is what is important for you and yes once again you know remember i told you about holding space for yourself listening to yourself and again you know having a schedule the simple reason for that is you know you need the stability in your life and with stability of course it can come to you through grounding but at this point you know grounding is of course important meditation is of course important but having a set routine is important because your entire state of being has to be bought in this linear structure that linear structure is very important for your life to thrive in a way that it is supposed to thrive Yeah, because right now I feel like you know things may be a little chaotic for you, and from that chaos you need calmness to evolve. So again, ground your energies whenever you feel like that is necessary. Give yourself space whenever you feel like that is necessary. But most importantly, have a structure. Everything for you revolves around that. And I'm of course going to be including messages from Baba because you know all my videos are incomplete without that. So let's see what Baba has to tell us. new beginnings okay 
clearly in some areas of your life you're going to be having new beginnings so maybe for a couple of you the new beginnings can actually be something in your life maybe a new relationship is possible or this could be you know a new job but of course no matter what make sure you're doing things right right from the very beginning okay so that's important ground rules are also very important for everything that you do especially your relationships what is good what is not good what is okay what is not okay everything is important and yes patience is important most importantly you know patience with yourself while you're getting used to all the changes in your life yeah so please make sure you know you're liberating those patterns in your life right now that are not serving you and once you're done with that ground your energy and then you know strive to have some kind of routine for yourself yes the old has to die for the new to emerge once again with the message of liberation so that is kali's message in short for you you know you have to put an end to your old ways so that a new beautiful life can actually emerge for yourself and that new beautiful life is actually going to be good in fact for a lot of you you know i see this is a new beginning in your relationships or in your romantic life for the better lot better is what i'm seeing here so assist yourself in that process and most importantly for that you also have to connect to that inner child so you have to believe again you have to get innocent again and you have to be willing to try again see when it comes to new beginnings you know we can have new beginnings every single day of our life when we wake up but for that new beginning to actually happen you have to be like a child who's trusting once again and not who's thinking about you know oh i failed that time oh i did not get things right that time children don't think about failure they only think about today and tomorrow that's it yeah so you have to connect to the child when it comes to your life and flow with life yes remember this when it comes to your life you know when it comes to dreams especially more than anything else make sure you have a dream you send it out to the universe you do the best that you can and when it comes to the results you surrender that because what happens is when a person is very very attached to the results sometimes instead of getting that results you actually you know push it in the other direction yeah because you are like so much putting in the force that the force actually repels what you want so like the gentle wind place your desires on that wind and let the wind carry it to the divine that is what you are supposed to do yeah and just like the child when he wants something he just asks god god can you give me that and who just forgets about it he is never thinking about every day oh you know oh god give me this give me this give me this you know it's you have to that simplicity like a child as simple as a child that is something you have to know yeah so all the old ways of being where you were very very rigid has to go and then flow with life be like the child once again remember divine healing in your life is possible but for you energetically you need a balance and for that structure is important yeah so remember all of these things because those are exactly what your angels are trying to tell you right now i will leave you here with nothing but my best wishes for your future i'll see you in my next one bye hello and if you've selected pile 2 these are the messages that you need to receive when it comes to your life all right then okay pile two most importantly you know you are given a spiritual gateway when it comes to your life so especially if you make that effort you are now going to be understanding things that are very very you know not normal for people to understand so especially if you're meditating you know and especially if you're meditating in isolation like maybe later at night or early in the morning you will be given some spiritual insights and that spiritual insights will help you understand a great deal about life that is not normally seen by the human eye you may be given some understanding through nature you may be given some understanding through your everyday life or sometimes through symbols but everything that is going to be now coming to you is going to be coming from divine so you have to decode it in certain ways and decoding happens very easily through meditation yeah so spiritually you guys are growing a great deal is what is coming through but remember this you know the things that you will go through now not many people will understand even if you try to make them understand oh you know this is the way it is this is the way of the truth people won't understand it because each one will be walking their own path but doesn't mean that yours is wrong 
yours is right for you and maybe for a group of you so for you then you know you have to either walk your spiritual path alone or find another person who's very aligned with you and by aligned i mean you have to be really closely aligned because otherwise what will happen is your own discovery of truth will be left halfway so the best thing is to do this on your own or just with few others who walk this path before you is going to be important yeah but don't be afraid of having a spiritual truth or a truth in life that is different from others and most importantly pile 2 it is important that you remember that sometime in your life you have to stop complaining you have to stop blaming others for things that are not working for your life because what happens you know the more we complain the more we have to complain so when you put an end to it and instead focus on the blessings you will get more blessings if you keep complaining you will just have more to complain about you know it's this ripple effect that is caused by your actions that is happening when it comes to your life currently so focus on the good things focus on the rewards focus on the beauty of life and focus on the beauty that god has created in your life that is very important so what i feel like for you pal to you know in spite of the fact that sometimes everything is right you still focus on the wrong and that is something you have to work into because remember this spiritually you are growing tremendously and these are little things that you have to work on so please make sure wherever you are in your life you work on them and in fact your heart is now opening up to the greatest level of truth but that truth will only come to you when you surrender to the fullest sometimes what happens is you know in the spiritual journey we are afraid you know when we are meditating we are afraid oh you know what next what if i do this right what if i do this wrong there is no right or wrong in meditation there is no right or wrong when it comes to spiritual path if you make a mistake you will be redirected to the right path that is the way it is when the path of god shows up yeah and make sure you're not giving your logical mind too much space in your life especially not when it comes to your spirituality because logic is very limited and spiritual life is something that is unlimited is not something that human mind is capable of understanding with limited capacity yeah so stop thinking about your experiences logically and whatever is just coming to you take it accept it yeah that's important and when it comes to your life you know everyday life as well when it comes to your examination when it comes to your studies you have to keep practicing it you know normally what happens is we study something okay we learn something over the course of the time we forget it and then you know if we have to like face that answer all of a sudden we are like oh you know i did study this but i forgot about this so for that practice is important just like you know an instrument you have to play it every single day or every couple of days for you to have that tune in perfect order so practice practice everything that's important for you yeah brushing up your skills also important so even if you are like a boss or top boss you still need to keep learning because there is so much in the world to learn about you know become a student of life that's important and especially the summer months you know especially uh, i know in lot of countries asian countries especially summers are already in order but for you otherwise as well the end of september october november are going to be great Okay, because those are the months that you're really, really going to get the fruits of your labor. So expect good news around that time. Maybe this could be good news on a personal level, like passing an examination or getting something that you've always wanting to get. Or this could be you know just traveling, something that makes your heart happy. That is in store for you. Yeah, but that's what I'm seeing here. Yeah. And remember this. at this point of time you know in your life there are certain patterns that are develop for you once again there is a pattern of complaining yeah so you have that pattern please make sure you're taking steps to resolve that but other than that also what patterns do you have in your relationships do you have a pattern do you select the same kind of partner and it doesn't work for you so you have to choose differently you have to resolve those patterns very important see what is happening you're evolving spiritually So when you evolving spiritually you cannot have that patterns right you have to resolve it because these are like lower vibrational energies so resolve it let it go and embrace the new that's important and now is the time for you to be brave now is the time for you to try something different now is the time for you to walk in the directions of your dream and never look back taking risk 
that is what is in store for you so especially if there is somebody out there who want to do something different who want to do something daring walk in the direction of your dreams what is stopping you fear of failure that is something that has surely destroyed a lot of dreams if you try you will never know you can maybe succeed beyond your wildest imagination if you just allow yourself to do that so give yourself that permission to live life bravely to live life according to your own version of truth that is coming through and right now wherever you are you know you have to work on stabilizing your mind you are clearly on a deep level of spiritual growth out here you know just like the buddha before he attained nirvana he had to still his mind for a lot of time so you have to still your mind like the buddha and i've already told you this mudra like a million times it is also known as you know the dhyana mudra or the buddha mudra in certain cases or the cosmic mudra this you know like this you have this is left this is right and you have this this will help you like concentrate deeply and once you concentrate deeply you will then as time progresses start downloading information and that information will help you a great deal when it comes to your life but you're prepared for a greater journey and understand this in the end everything that is happening to us is a spiritual process we feel like our life is divided into love life it is divided into a material life and spiritual life it is actually not that everything that is coming to you is on the basis of what you are as a spiritual being so when you evolve as a spiritual being every single area of your life will be transformed so begin that journey spiritually for the rest of your life to be transformed and once again remember this you know when it comes to your material life once again i repeat this 100 times do not write down your expenses when you write down on expenses you are focusing on what is flowing out and not what is flowing in instead when money comes in when somebody is giving you as simple as you know 10 dollars write it down you have to make sure that you measuring your abundance and you know every single day before you go to sleep look at that abundance look at it abundant diary so you will know you know and you will feel better oh i have so much and then you will be grateful for it so you know abundance planning is also like a process in gratefulness that is something you have to follow when it comes to your life very important yeah and when you're giving out money bless it it'll come back to you in so many forms in multiplied forms okay remember that duality see sometimes in life what happens is there are two paths to be taken yeah and those two paths are there so that you take the best out of both but in the end even though the paths are two they have to merge in one for you to be successful you know especially this is a practice when it comes to hinduism you know we have so many gods we have crores of gods but in the end they all come from that one single power the power of omkar yeah the christians call it god the muslims call it allah and lot of other names so it all merges from one thing whether it is omkar with this god or allah so you have to find that you know deep power that is the power behind all powers because that is the path of truth that is being told to you so if you are right now in this path that you go oh i believe in two deities you know i believe in shiva i believe in krishna too remember shiva and krishna they come from one power too the power of omkar that is my spiritual belief yes so you have to walk towards omkar and not really be stuck in you know the outward manifestation of god that is important on your spiritual path you know and that is a process that is becoming very easy through meditation see when you meditate you know you just focus on nothing and when you focus on nothing you actually focusing on that one power which governs the world so you can do that you know when it comes to duality if you want to convert it into that one power focus on absolutely nothing but stillness very important and what oh my god look at this oneness you know that is exactly what i was talking about so when it comes to duality learn to focus it on oneness and with oneness you are just like the buddha who is preparing for that stage of nirvana and nirvana you will get because you are already in the process of discovering the truth the highest kind of truth meditation is the way forward there is no other way 
yeah see bhakti yoga is great but it is in the end meditation that is the easiest easiest path to finding oneness with god yeah and expect a miracle so when you reach the stage of oneness miracle will happen and what is miracle but true awakening and we already started with spiritual understanding so that spiritual understanding is already given to you you just have to walk on that path through meditation these symbols will be revealed certain things will be revealed that you have to ponder on to get those answers yourself but you are on the spiritual journey and it's a blessed journey pile to you're walking a very very higher level spiritual path stay on it yeah and stick to sadguru right sadguru is that one guru because in our life you know it is a guru who takes us to that ultimate force whichever guru it is it is sai baba or any other guru that guru when you look at him he has to remind you of that higher power that is the power of a true guru yes so he will you know with his blessing help you expect the miracle when it comes to your life be prepared because you are clearly like the buddha who is preparing for that deep inward journey and as i wrap this up i'm going to be leaving you with nothing but my prayers as you prepare to be a buddha for your own life and as you prepare to discover the ultimate truth i will leave you here i'll see you in my next one bye hello and if you've selected pile 3 these are the messages that you're supposed to be receiving from your angels okay now first of all pile three for you the most important thing that is happening is you have to start preparing for receiving gifts from the universe because clearly you've done something right maybe this is good karma that you've done in the past but all of those things that you've done when it comes to your life you know up until now you're going to be rewarded for it and you're going to be rewarded generously for it so open your arms and prepare for this goodness to come into your life okay this is a reward for you definitely and once you receive that reward you know you have to keep walking on your journey and especially this journey i mean in terms of your spiritual life because you know in spiritual life it is like a continuous path till you achieve that enlightenment stage so when it comes to one achievement enjoy it celebrate it but start walking on that process again because there is a long way for you to go there is so much for you to learn there is so much beauty that you have to witness because in knowing god it's like you know you discover layers after layers so it's going to be a beautiful journey for you pal three i assure you that so whatever you're doing right now keep doing it yeah little adjustments here and there of course but keep doing what you're doing that is something i'm going to be telling you keep walking ahead and when it comes to your life you know don't be like you know oh this is a problem i'm just going to brush it under the carpet and ignore it don't do that if there is something that you feel that needs to be addressed address it be brave be courageous be bold and in that boldness you will actually achieve a lot of success in life yeah even in terms of your spiritual life you know don't let little things here and there bother you they're going to be keeping on happening and remember this when it comes to a spiritual life you know we are tested sometimes is this person brave enough to walk this path or is this person going to leave things half way so don't leave anything half way yeah keep walking forward and face the problems and interestingly you are going to be getting a lot of things happening to you in your dreams okay so this can happen in so many different forms you can get one imagery you can get somebody else communicating with you you may actually see your spiritual master everything is a sign and dreams are the language of the universe yeah so especially you have to write down your dreams you know and especially if you know of a person who's very very good at interpreting those dreams tell your dreams to that person because that person may be able to help you out when it comes to your life see in our dreams you know it is the spiritual life that is reaching out to us our angels reach out to us our spirit guides reach out to us because they're trying to convey something so listen to what is being told to you through your dreams and right now the angels are placing some focus on your career so if you are at a point in your life they are wondering something about your career where you are deciding like okay which direction to go into take time yeah and weigh all the options properly yeah so maybe especially if you are slightly younger you know if you are a student before going in a particular direction in turn in it take up a small part time job and see if you enjoy doing it 
and only then go in that direction because you know when it comes to big decisions especially for younger people don't make it based on something you really feel or something that your friend wants to do weigh the options and make the decision that is right for you but even otherwise you know career wise lot of things you can do pick one that really speaks to you okay the once again you know the, the spiritual gifts that are coming in that is repeated but once again materially also you're walking a very prosperous path yeah so if there is somebody out here who's waiting for that growth that growth is coming for you and that growth is coming not only when it comes to your material life but it is coming through you from you've done a good job what you're doing is being recognized you know maybe by your teachers maybe by you know your senior bosses but what you're doing is being recognized and sometimes by god that is also possible but you're going to be reaping the fruits of all the labor that you've put in but remember this you know don't be active always so if you're busy with your work always if you're busy with your studies always give time for stillness stillness just sitting doing nothing is a very important activity i don't know why people think that just sitting you know doing nothing is like being being lazy or being idle it's not it is actually giving your mind and your body a space to relax to you know actually get back its energy and for you that is important because when you are still your mind is still and when a mind is still the decisions come in just a minute which is a decision that you need so you just have to make sure that you allow yourself stillness let a couple of days pass and then make a decision that is right for you and the focus is on healing relationships okay so right now if you feel like certain relationships in your life are like you know not ideal or maybe they're broken it is time for you to mend them you know sometimes it's like you've not spoken to a friend for a very long time be the bigger person and talk to them maybe they're waiting uh, for you to talk to them or maybe they're going through something on their own mend bridges that is what you know the angels are here to tell you okay now once again interestingly it is like what can you do differently that is the message for you it's like you have to birth a life that you want for yourself yeah so what kind of life do you want you have to have clarity around that first so if you are people who have not had a vision board for a very long time time to create it and if not a vision board if you feel like that is complicated take a diary and write down what do you want because it's like you know the universe is like waiting for you and it's like you know can you just tell me already because i'm waiting to take that menu from you yeah for a couple of you of course you may be on the verge of starting a new business if that is something that you want to do the time is right up until november okay till november the timing is just right for you so start doing something now and of course for a couple of you if you have been waiting for you yourself to have a family you have to give yourself rest okay you have to really give yourself rest that is a message so if you're overworking and you're actually trying simultaneously to have a child maybe the process may be delayed for a couple of you for that rest but if you're already expecting stillness very important because your body has to mend too in certain cases yeah that's important and aroma therapy so if there's somebody who's feeling like you know they're very nervous all the time or they're very stressed all the time maybe because of work or just things around us they stress us sometimes too aroma therapy can help you calm down i'll tell you the simplest way is i don't know if you have like aroma therapy stores close to your place just walk into one and just you know they tend to like spray things for you and give it to you to smell and whatever makes you feel like you know it takes you to the another level pick that up because aroma therapy helps a great deal not only you know for that one second when you're stressed but every day in your life so you can actually buy a diffuser and have it in your house every single time so it will be two things you know you'll start feeling better like your nerves will start winding down and second thing your house will smell amazing that anybody who walks in would be like what are you burning yeah and because i have like countless friends who've come in and who be like you know oh what is this and i have to like keep multiple bottles now because my friends keep pointing it so maybe that will happen to you that is the only drawback of getting very involved in aroma therapy yeah but maybe that will help you soothe your nerves and to gain that stillness that you need and you entering a very interesting time let's see what baba has to tell you mend bridges okay you need people in your life that is what i'm seeing here you need people who care for you a lot more 
Brahma Gyan, self realization. So for you, you know, I feel like a lot of realization that is going to happen is is self realization. So especially this comes for people who do not have a guru, a physical guru who is you know available in life. So maybe for you, you know, maybe a ascended master who passed over, you know, like Sai Baba, Sai Baba's ascended master, he is not living physically, but his presence is there. He will help you attain the self realization that you seek. to meditation of course that is the way forward see when it comes to self realization you know self realization happens through meditation or through excessive devotion like you have to spend a lot of time in devotion just like you know meera was meera bai when it comes to lord krishna that kind of devotion so once again you know that kind of devotion is slightly not possible if you're like working full time so instead meditation can happen for one hour two hours you know it is something that you decide so especially if you have a busy life then that is the best step for you forgiveness who do you need to forgive oh oh my god yeah maybe there's somebody that you need to forgive and mend bridges with that person remember this in our life people act crazy and especially given the times that are happening in our life people are really really just you know behaving in a way that is not normal for them forgive them maybe that that they're, they're going through something in your life because of which they're behaving this way you have to be the bigger person see remember this if you're walking on the journey of self realization bending bridges with people are important if you're judging them you have to give up judgment otherwise you cannot call yourself a spiritual person yeah see it's not an easy process okay spiritual life i struggle with it every single day i'm not going to be like oh i'm doing everything perfectly no i make mistakes every day on my spiritual life but we have to try we have to get and try that is the only thing that the divine expects from us yeah so forgive people even though it may be difficult you have to have a very gentle heart you know very gentle heart a heart that gets hurt because gentleness gets hurt all the time but it's okay god will reward you for it remember my words today yeah just have a gentle heart forgiving heart because you may be the only people who forgive and that forgiveness is important and let go remember this a gentle heart is the one who doesn't carry any burdens their soul is a light soul when they wake up in the morning they you know wake up by forgetting all the past wrongs against them so when you wake up in the morning you know consciously let go of everything wrong that people have done to you and only get up remembering that this is a beautiful world this is a world that my god created for me and live that way easy way for you difficult way for you but easy way if you just you know shift your mindset to that and rhythm big movement so once again you know there are two things for you one is maybe you know like singing devotional songs because that is like rhythmic moving see the moment you listen to bhajans your body starts moving so they require your attention because in them you connect to the highest power and that is once again a very good step towards self realization these things are very important for you okay i'm going to give you one more because i feel like there's a need for more oh you have multiple <laughs> see baba always wants to live with extra karma yoga yes see remember this you know when it comes to karma yoga two things happen when you forgive people no god forgives you for something so when you're trying to forgive somebody and that is not happening just tell god god i'm going to forgive this person please forgive me of my sins too that i've committed you know not consciously but karma yoga is something that is happening so be careful as to not create additional karma for yourself and be a lighthouse remember when you see darkness in your life it is because you are the light and there are very few people who are a light in this world you know so you are the lighthouse remember this i am telling you this from the depths of my heart if there is darkness there is darkness because god has trusted you to be the source of light there so let me tell you this bless everybody around you everybody maybe you are the source of blessing for people around you when you bless them their lives will get easy and maybe they will become better people so when somebody is troubling you when somebody is behaving in a way that is not right for you bless them pray for them and you will see how changes happen that is truly truly when you'll be walking a spiritual path because god is clearly preparing you for a higher job step up step up to that job 
because very few people get selected for this and i'm going to be praying you for so much so much so much for you remember be careful about your karma okay because we are really really held accountable especially if we are a lighthouse every little thing so don't they're going to be showing up in our life immediately karma wise so as much as you can focus on your life not on anybody else no matter what anybody else is doing let them do it forgive it focus on yourself your life that is the path for you right now focus on being light just focus on being the best light the candle the candle just gives light it is not worried about what anybody else is doing or where it is placed if you place it in one room it will glow bright if you place it in another room it will glow bright because that is the nature of the candle and you are that candle don't forget it you're blessed beyond capacity i will leave you here i'll see you in my next one bye